Nikki in Niagara, coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today we're going to take a look at Halloween Horrors by Christopher Mark Stokes. Now this is just a little bit smaller than your average coloring book. It measures, I think it's going to be 8 by 10. Yeah, yeah it measures 8 by 10 instead of the 8.5 by 11. So just a little bit smaller. Okay, so let's take a look inside. We have the front page. This book was copyrighted 2016. And our title page, our beginning page. And we start into the illustrations. Now this is a an Amazon printed book and has the paper which we are all familiar with. It is printed on on one side of the page. The illustrations well, they, they end just where we see them ending. They do not go in into the spine work there. The pages are the illustrations are not framed. And as we can see, so far there have not been any Halloween specific pages. They're all, oh, here we do, we have a, ja a jack-o'-lantern on that page, so, so far. Yeah, most of the pages here can be colored any time of year. Uh, a lot of single image pages. Doesn't look like there's any actual scenes. Let's call that a scene. The um, images are heavily zen tangled. However, oh, we've got a mandala there. However, don't let that uh, scare you into thinking you have to color every single. Please try again. Every single little piece there. You can color a whole section. Uh, one color rather than doing every little piece in there we can color the pants all one color and same with the other pieces you don't have to color every little spot on this um, wagon you could you could color block doing stripes or the sections that it suggests or the whole thing could be one color so a nice selection of uh, some simple illustrations if you're not doing this entangling of course it's up to you how complicated you make those pages and we come to the end here we have some information about the artist and the names of his other books up to the time this book was printed so once again this is Halloween Horrors by Christopher Mark Stokes